It is heavier than it looks. It... So there are two paths to that under lock. I'll probably have to come back later to do the other part for like more information. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Retry will allow you to return to a save point after unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back to lock one. Okay. You regain your three retries by selecting restart from the menu or by failing the sink. This is likely your best option if time is low. Yeah. I got a hundred and fifty seconds from paper. Let's go. There are torn pieces of paper. Roll up and toss. Uh, ooh, probably use one third in this one. Or one fifth. Oh, I was thinking one third is better than one fifth. That was just wrong. Yeah, I'll make that one fifth. Piece them together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Done. But. Okay, so that is Shoko, Miyuki, and the. Ruji, I think his name was. So that's childhood. But that's in a cage. So that represents something. Interesting. Oh, no makeup. Uh, in case this wasn't explained, um, the eye. The AI that talks to me. It's, this also happens to be the thing on my left eye. Uh, when we slip into like subconscious worlds, um, she's basically what I control, and I command her to do things. Is how they explained it later, uh, earlier. In case you're confused on why I'm suddenly a small anime girl. Ah, uh, I see. Not with one eye. You were able to get out? Hell yeah. One day I came home to find that photo torn up in the trash can. When I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo. But whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo and saw me in the bird cage. Mizuki must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. That thing's going pretty fast, brother. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. Oh, come on. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. The panda is put together and has a spinning head. Working as intended. Let's see time tragic map. Oh, let's see what the map has to say. Yeah, I wanna get the panda right again, because that's that's thought. It has red eyes too. Panda head is spinning. Uh. Stop. Hmm. Oh, but the spin more reduces to 10 seconds. Right, yeah. I think I'm going to, but I kind of want the 10 second timing at the same time. I should probably get it out as fast as possible, so let's use time 20 and just ride it. Huh. What? A horse? Well, a horse, of course. Horses are pretty similar. No, they're not. Dante, what the hell? They are completely different. Are you blind? 
Yeah, well, they both have five letters. <laughs> they both have five letters. He has a point, you know. How is that relevant? How is it not relevant? I think that Panda Head is. I'm wondering if it does involve the. I'll be using a one third one third. I'll stop it. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Yep. I'm an absolute genius. I see. These were also linked. That's right. Oh, there she is. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. Just choose the correct answer as your final action. You can actually exceed the 360 time limit. It just seems like you don't have a lot of time left. Don't give up. You might be able to do it. Computer sleep talking. Hmm. More than one second when you clear, you get a prize. Oh, so if you finish it with more than one second left, you get a, a prize. Well, I have 123. Have two minutes. Hurry. 2000 IQ, it's true. I have a test that proves it. This no appears idea. to be the microphone for the speaker. Threaten it, show it. <laughs> Can I make her ride it? A merry go round horse. Talk to it, spank it. <laughs> yeah! That's a punch. Oh god. You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. He's a poor horse. A merry go round horse. Uh, yeah, let's use this for the meme. I I don't know. <laughs> I was curious if it do anything, because it was a funny option. Can't you tell from her face, Dante? Look how much fun she's having. Does it look fun? See? You look cute like that. Oh, I see. <laughs> Got her. Alright. That was that. It's Mizuki! Slap her, smile at her, make her laugh. Hmm. Let's see, most costly is make her laugh and get a one fourth. So let's. Uh, no. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. Uh. Let's get rid of this twenty. Make her laugh. I will imitate you, Date. Oh, little mini light bulb needs a change. What? Oh, good boy, mini, mini, mini. Okay, cutie little <laughs> mini light bulb. I'll turn you on. Yes, I will. What the hell? Ah, you turned on. Good job, mini light bulb. Mini, mini, mini. <laughs> I never said that before. She's not impressed. No reaction. Because it doesn't make any sense. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Sixty it's seconds. Mizuki. All right, I think the correct answer here is hug. I hope it's not slap. I don't want to slap Mizuki. Make your second count at this point. Correct answer was hug. Mizuki. Aww. Aww, you poor thing. Ah, oh, footsteps.
Who are you? Mother Blood and Secrets, yeah. Slap her for science, JK. <laughs> I thought about it, but I, uh, I can't do that to this poor girl. Okay. Date. Date. <laughs> She's talking. She's no longer mute. Looks like she can talk again. We did it, y'all. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, about Ota, and about Shogo. I know that after Ota ran off, something must have happened to Mizuki. No, oh, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide. Alright. Well, Mizuki, on with it. Hey. I told you I'm fine. So annoying. Uh, do you just know? Do you know what I just did for you? I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. Whoa! Feed her sushi. You right? I see she is back to her usual self. Extra ginger. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. Oof. Alright. Are I'm you hungry? Now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Sushi. Sushi? You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. It wasn't just, like, speaking, though. It was, like, no facial re reactions at all. Oops. Uh, who sent you the Nile message? I, I can't tell you. Ooh, Why on. not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. Hack her phone. Let's when go, she Iba. Is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. Hack that phone. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Oh. That face cam is blocking some of the text. Is there a better way for... Just go to the upper left, maybe. Maybe this is gonna no, that's gonna block the face. Uh, you'll try like this. So I just realized it was blocking some of the text. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Okay. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. That works? Okay. If you, if you could think of a better uh, position, well, let me know. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time.
Oops. Sorry about that, Mr. Mike. Say, Mizuki, who is that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. Only in her she subconscious. She does not experience somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone... ...in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door the was open weapon? a little bit, so I snuck in. She's sitting in the chair, but okay. I sympathize with her. Last night she saw her mother. Well, she saw what no kid should ever have to see. It will take a while for her to get back to normal. I guess you're right. A pewter guy, I say. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Aiba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Aiba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why somnium Aiba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. Oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki's somnium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything okay. we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? Definitely Better true. What you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. Yeah, so it's about somnium. Or as what in a normal dreams. dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced hmm. as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. But then why am I able to interact with things? Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iva was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iva's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. What well, part of that was my taste? <laughs> I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, I was broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. She's just trying to it be was a just A little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. Aww. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? 
one of them is lying. Yeah, so it's about Somnium again. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here on the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, and giving you, her a nice big Ivan. hug. The boss has extraordinary perception. Hugs save lives, y'all. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. Protect. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Do you have any questions, boss? Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki. When we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... Yes. Stab into your mother's eye, go on. It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I, the only thing I could think was, I had to get it out. Well, that's so sad. So you panicked and pulled it out. Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column. Yeah. Okay, just one more question. This is so very sad. important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Weird. So the eyeball was taken out, and then the pick was put into it after. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. But why? Boss shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Or it's never on the scene. If we're still working with, she was killed somewhere else. Alright, boss. Summarize for me. Anyway, I get the story. Welcome back. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Oh boy, back to Bloom Park. Alright, it's a uh, 455, okay. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Somnium. Som, yeah, Somnium. But I couldn't be sure of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. Alright, so. Alright, I'm gonna probably call it here. I got hungry. Well, eat, yo, eat. I know I got pizza personally right here. I'm probably gonna save, call it here. Uh, probably pick this back up next week or sometime over the weekend if I decide to stream. Uh, Definitely next Monday. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure if I'll pick this back up Monday or if I'll play more Final Fantasy. Uh, I guess we'll have to see how I'm feeling that night. But I'll definitely be back online streaming uh, next Monday. So, 
thank you for hanging out. Uh, if you want to watch the VOD to catch up on what you missed or anything like that, uh, it'll hopefully be up sometime next week. Unless I get super motivated and do it this week. Uh, either way, uh, yeah. I don't have any links to the YouTube on my channel, do I? Yeah, have a good night, and thank you for watching.